So we've got a special guest in the kitchen today. Hi, I'm Anjum. So Glenn, today we're going to cook a really delicious, really easy dish. Okay. It comes from Hyderabad. And Hyderabad's a really interesting part of India. It's in the south of India. And what's so fascinating about the food there is there's almost two cuisines. So there's the cuisine that the local Indians would eat. So okay. lots of lentils, lots of vegetables. It's coastal, so a lot of seafood. And it's really spicy, like one of the spiciest cuisines in India because they okay. have their own chilies. Okay. So they're amazing. Fantastic. And then you have this cuisine which is really mild, and this cuisine was brought with the Mughals. So when the Mughals came to India, they sort of came down India, and they are from Central Asia, so they didn't have a lot of spice in their food. And the Mughals who came to Hyderabad, they kept it really pure, and their dishes were very meaty, very yogurty, more herby and tangy, and okay. less spicy. Okay. And so it's a fascinating cuisine, because you have like the very Indian spicy, really rustic, then you have this really refined Mughal cuisine, and then you've got some hybrid in the middle, of course, because you adapt to local ingredients, and you get a taste for more chilies, etc. So this is a Hyderabadi dish inspired by the Mughal, so it's lighter, and well, it, it's creamier, and, and yogurty, and not so spicy spicy. So not, not hot spicy, but flavorful spicy. Flavorful, but flavor okay. is built in layers with kind of the flavor of the yogurt, which is sort of sour and tangy, but creamy, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, a bit of uh, the onions, which will add a bit of sweetness, the ginger and the garlic, which are, you know, used in almost every Indian dish at some point, one or the other. So, you, and then the fresh coriander, they love their herbs okay. in Hyderabad food. So it is a really easy dish to put together, so it's super quick, and then you put it all in the oven so you don't even have to fuss about it. And great for when you have people coming over, but also great for when you come home from work, put it in the oven, get the kids to do their homework, in my case. So what they do a lot of in Hyderabad is they cook the onion first, and then they crush it into the sauce. It's, it's a slightly more refined way of cooking, okay? because it's a very smooth sauce then. But we're going to deep fry because we're going to stick to a more original recipe and dinner profile. Cool. One and a half onion? Good? Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Okay, perfect. This is done. Okay. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to dry and turn off as much oil as I can because we don't need it. Isn't this one of the best smells in the world? I love that smell. And yeah. it's just one of the best Absolutely. smells in the world. Um, so in Indian food, what people don't really think about a lot is actually there's a lot of layers of flavors. Yes. And what you're looking for in the end is a sweet and sour balance and a saltiness and a spicy element where the, the which gives flavor. Okay. So onions are the sweetness and the yogurt is going to add the sour element. So that'll be the balance. It's that wonderful kind of play, interpre you know, interplay between the sour and the sweet, I, I, which I, comes through that. I often think that a lot of people miss out on the, that, the importance of that interplay of the balance between the sweet and the, and the acid That's or true. the sweet and the sour. Yeah. So I've got the ginger sliced up a little bit. I got the garlic ready to go. Yeah. Okay. So we're ready to blend all okay. the ingredients together. So, so the base of the curry is yogurt. So we'll get that, all of that in there. So that's the sour, creamy, yummy base. And again, you know, different countries, the yogurt is, is less sour, more sour. And with any cuisine, you've almost got to taste it at the end and play around with so the flavor. So we have sure. some lemons in case Just, it's not so sour. Okay. Okay, in with the garlic. We've got six cloves there. Now, it might feel like a lot, but it's going to cook really slowly and it's going to work beautifully. It'll be nice and mild. It'll, it'll, it'll be mellow, really mellow. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, in with the ginger. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave some of these onions for the end. Okay. And look, they're quite nice and crispy, which is lovely. They smell great. They smell so great. Okay, in with the onions and leaving a little handful. Get that out of the salt. Okay. Leave a little bit for it later. Um, garam masala. Okay. So garam masala, it literally means warming spice, blend. And it's just cloves and cinnamon and black pepper and bay leaf, so nothing unusual. Do you have your own personal? I do. You do? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, you go to India, it's like every house has their, their own, own garden yeah. secret, and it's like yeah. this very big kind of, we're not telling you, ours is better than yours, my mother's cooking is better than your mother's cooking, it happens in marriages, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's a whole thing, yeah. right? But basically, they're all the same sort of thing, but also it varies from region to region. So I'm Punjabi, we use a lot of garam masala, um, very different from how they would use it in Gujarat yep. or southern India, they will have different aromatics in there. As we traveled by train, we could see how it, the flavors changed as we, it's as we traveled. Isn't it's, it? uh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, this is the thing about, I mean, I love what I do, but what I love is teaching people a little bit about things they didn't know and dispelling some of the misconceptions about Indian food because it isn't all a curry. 
It is an all 20 spices in a pan, and it's, it's fresh and vibrant and beautiful. It's not all one thing. It's not all one thing. Yeah. It, you know, and if you go to India and you order a chicken curry, that will vary depending on where you're at, and it will be beautiful everywhere. Yeah. And that's what's so exciting about India. You almost never stop learning. Chili powder. Okay. If you don't like chili, don't add it. So we always add a bit of that in, and then we look for like the really deep red, kind of rich colors of chili. All right, salt. Can I just have a quick moment about salt? Okay. My general rule is three quarters to one teaspoon for four people. Okay. Four to five. So if you're nervous, start with three quarters. You know. That seems reasonable. Well, it just it kind of works for me. So I'll add three quarters, and then we'll taste and change it. Okay. So what we need now is some cashew nuts, which we've okay. had soaking. So they're just raw. Uh, get rid of the water. Uh, yeah. Get get rid of get rid of the water. We might have to add some back in anyway. So the cashew nuts add a creaminess. So um, really, that's what they do. They add a nuttiness and a creaminess. They're not so expensive in India, cashew nuts. We'll add a little bit of coriander in with the actual mix, stems and all, because okay. they have a lot of flavor, as you will know. Cilantro for our American friends. Yes, sorry, sorry. Um, I kind of feel like we've got everything. Have I missed something? No. The cream, where does the cream go? The cream we'll put in at the end. Okay. Mix okay, this up. Let's let's blend it together. Now, the finer, the better. Okay. Let's okay. go liquefy then. Li liquefy. Good. Okay, perfect. Let's have a look. Cool. Let's take our little spatula. Smells wonderful. You know, it's it's going to be at this point it's strong because it's got the you know the raw ginger and the garlic, but it should smell just a bit herby and you know just quite mild, but you know a little bit of coriander goes a long way. It's given us that really beautiful green color. So, at this point you, is when you taste it and you think, okay, okay do, will it need more salt? Bearing in mind, we're not seasoning and, and browning our chicken, so it should taste salty at this stage. You know, okay. There's no chicken stock going into it, which has a bit of salt. That's wonderful. I like that. A little bit more salt? Yeah. And, and you know what? I find it's not tangy enough. So a little bit more of an acid. I'm going to put a bit more lemon. Let's put some lemon you juice some in. Lemon so juice? if you put a bit of lemon juice, I'll put a bit more salt. Well, this is lovely because it's not like, it's not got a, a, a cacophony of spices, right? It's got just garam masala. In fact, we could even add a bit more. My garam masala is probably a little bit stronger. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to add is a little bit of this lovely onion oil because there is no fat in there. And, um, you know, you need a little bit of fat. So this is about... About, I don't know, I'm putting in about 30 milliliters, okay. not even, maybe a little less. A couple of tablespoons. Yeah, now if you want to add ghee, this is the time to add it, but I feel like we've got the oil, we'll just okay. use that. We put the lemon juice, we put the salt, I think we'll just give it a stir and we'll put it on the chicken. Okay, so we'll get the chicken in there. And now, if you have time to marinate, marinate your meat, so you'll start getting the, some of those really lovely flavors into your chicken. So what I've done is, A, I've cut some slashes in the meat. Okay. So some of this can start penetrating the flesh, just to the bone. I'll pour this all over the chicken. Okay. We'll get all of that out. Just rub it a little bit into the chicken. And then as the chicken releases its own juices, it'll just form into a really lovely sauce. Wonderful. Just so the hot chilies? Yeah. Just pierce them? Yep. We don't know if they're hot. We should taste them. Oh. Let's do that. On camera. Yeah. No, don't chop them up. Oh, we'll just chop this one. We'll use the other ones. Oh, can I just take the tip? It's a little Shh. less hot. Okay. Are you not going to do this on camera? It's on, on camera. camera. Okay. I don't know how your chilies are. Hmm. How was your bit? I'd say not hot. I'd say not hot. <laughs> Let's put them all in. Okay. Because even with all of them, I don't feel like we're going to get a lot of heat. Yeah. But also, if you do like heat, you can always blend one of these in with the sauce. That's a lovely way of getting heat sure. through the dish. So we're just going to put these, tuck these in, and they're going to add a lovely, um, in this case, capsicum flavor. Yeah, right? the, I mean, I would call these more flavorful than hot. Yeah, I wouldn't call them hot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, lovely. Let's get those in and into the oven. Into the oven. Think. Yeah. Cool. It smells amazing. Have taste it? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I added about a cup of water. Okay. Let's just to give it a bit of sauce. And I guess now we just taste. And this is the point where you decide, do you need some more chili or some more salt or some more lemon juice or some more, you know, coriander, like cream? Do we need anything? How does it taste? It tastes really good. 
I'd put a little more. Mm. I put coriander on top. Yeah. I don't know that I'd put any cream in that. It doesn't really need it. No. In Hyderabad, they like their dishes quite rich, but actually, as an everyday meal, you really don't need any. Yeah. We just leave the cream out. It's quite good. Oh. Um, Should we put a little bit of coriander? A little bit of coriander, and you know what? I um, serving it maybe a little bit of lemon on top. Yeah, I think so that's a good idea. Lemon? Yeah, we could actually add a little bit of lemon on the side, and people could kind of squeeze it in squeeze their own plate as well. Let's have it with some naan. Should we um, should we serve? Okay. And I would put those chilies on too for people who want a little bit of that um, mm -hmm. chili, not so chili flavor in this case. But they're lovely and roasted, so they'll be very beautiful. And again, you know, if you wanted to have it with rice, you could add a little bit of water to it, thin it out a little bit. Thin it out. Um, a couple of these chilies. Yeah, I think that, you know, they're so great. And you bite into a roasted chili and you have all the wonderful. juices yeah. in it. It's just going to be a real pop of wonderful flavor. Now, Glenn, is this the first time you've cooked Indian food on your shows? Yes. Is it easier than you thought? M much easier, yes. Much easier. We'll cook it at home for ourselves, yeah. but I'm always a little trepidatious about doing it on camera for the people at home. Ah. I just don't feel that I, I have the background to do it. Right. But this was simple, easy. Simple, easy, sort of everyday cooking. Yeah. And I feel that this really helps dispel the myth that Indian food is you know, very spicy or very complicated. Or we, didn't all spend all, we didn't spend all day doing it. No, we chat a lot, yeah. but while it was in the oven. Oh, yeah. how great. Yeah, it's fantastic. And we just put a little bit of lemon. And what a really beautiful... Beautiful. Um, I want to say springy because it looks heavy, but really all year round dish. Thank you very much for coming by. Thank you for having me on. Is this in one of your cookbooks? Uh, it is. I think it's in I Love India, which cool. is my last cookbook. Cool. But um, really, yeah. So the recipe will be down below and take a look for the recipe book. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Cool.